Hey guys, so today I'm making a quick recipe on French toast casserole, perfect for quarantine. You can make it the night before and bake it the next day. If you would like to see it, keep on watching and let's begin. All right, for my French toast, I'm using French bread. You can use whatever bread you have. I'm using this one because that's what I have in hand. We're going to cut them into a small cube, about an inch thick. Okay, we're going to need four cups of the bread once you done cut them up. About two of those cup, measuring cup right here. Then, this is what you have once you cut everything together. Try not to cut them too thick, all right? Now, I am going to add some apples to it, which is optional. You don't really have to add it. I just want, wanted the cinnamon apple flavor. That's why I'm adding some apple slices in there. I'm cutting them really, really small, really thin, so they can cook fast. So this is how I sh basically shred them. And then I am going to place it in the bread as well. There is no particular way to place the apple, but I just place them all over. All right, they are very, very thin. And then we're going to set it aside to make our um, egg mixture. I'm using whole milk and I also will be using four eggs. That's what's going to give your your French toast that fluffy, that you know how it, it's thick at the bottom. That's what you want. That's what's gonna give it that thickness. So you want lots of eggs in there. I'm using four eggs and then I'll be adding in some other flavor in there to give it that good French toast flavor. I'm adding vanilla extract, nutmeg, cinnamon, all right? And also I added a pinch of salt, maybe a few pinches of salt. And also you can add some maple syrup in there as well if you like your French toast to be nice and sweet. I don't like adding too much at first because I can add the syrup on top of on top of it when I'm eating it, but I added a few um, tablespoons, give that a quick mix. I even pour this mixture in a bowl so I can really, really get in there and mix the egg. All right, once you have your egg mixture nice and mixed together, you're going to pour it all over the bread. Now make sure nobody left behind. Make sure to pour the egg mixture all over the bread. Don't leave any of the bread out, okay? Then we're going to cover it, place it in the fridge for about six hours, or you can do it the night before, and in the morning you can bake it. Now this is the topping I'm doing, which includes butter with um, brown sugar, with cinnamon, then we're going to mix that together. Once you're done, it should look like crumbs. Then once we take out our bread from the fridge, it should be nice and soak all of the egg mixture that we added in there, place the the topping on top, then we're going to bake it on 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. And once it is done, it should be nice and so good. <laughs> this is it guys. It should be really, really soft. It should be so cinnamony. It should be really, really good. I have a cinnamon roll recipe if you would like to see it. I will leave it on the screen. Click on it to watch it next. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.